friends, there's a reason we've been shouting this from the rooftops. There's the reason I'm coming on the air now to tell you we have been telling you so for years. Uh, look at the stanza from this poem that I wrote in 1993 called America, America. You slice up children in the womb, speaking of our nation, and kill the old and weak. You become immune to their cries for help, yet God hears their spirit shriek. Your cities are drenched with innocent blood while teens play with guns like toys and gays fight for their equal rights. We want to marry and we want your boys. Well, well let's listen to the gay men's chorus sing about that. I want you to hear this with their own words. As we celebrate pride on the progress we've made over these past years, there's still work to be done. So to those of you out there who are still working against equal rights, we have a message for you. You think we're sinful. You fight against our rights. You say we all lead lives you can't respect. But you're just frightened. You think that we'll corrupt your kids if our agenda goes unchecked. Funny, just this once, you're correct. We'll convert your children. Happens bit by bit, quietly and subtly, and you will barely notice it. We'll convert your children. We'll make them tolerant and fair to hate. We're coming for them. We're coming for your children. Look, it was just last month I posted an article about an inconvenient truth regarding LGBTQ plus activism. And I say it like that just so you know where the trajectory goes. It keeps going. This is what I wrote last month. It was about 20 years ago that a conservative commentator stated that because the homosexual movement could not grow by reproduction, it had to grow by seduction. Understandably, I wrote, this incurred the ire of gay activists as if their main agenda was the sexual seduction of others, including children. What this conservative commentator should have said was, the homosexual movement cannot grow by biological replication, so instead it puts its emphasis on ideological indoctrination that would remain true to this day. And that's what the gay man's chorus is saying. Yeah, we're going to indoctrinate your children. We're coming for your children. We're going to change their way of thinking. They say, oh, we'll make them tolerant and fair. But yeah, and they're also saying we will make them wide open to homosexuality. We will make them wide open to the things that we believe should be normalized and accepted by all. Here, this is 10 years ago from my book, A Queer Thing Happened to America, from the chapter, Boys Will Be Girls Will Be Boys. And it's about the indoctrination of children in our schools. So this was 10 years ago, and I'm reflecting on things happening in the years before. Here, listen to this poem that I wrote. It's called, Here at School, the Slant is Gay. Little Johnny went to school there to learn a brand new rule. No longer could the boys be boys or have their special trucks and toys. Only six, so young and tender. It's time for him to unlearn gender and break the binding two-sex mold, that hurtful thinking that's old. Parents at home can have their say, but here at school, the slant is gay. In other words, to make this clear, there's nothing wrong with being queer. Having two moms is mighty fine. To disagree is out of line. We'll deconstruct the family and smash religious bigotry. We'll keep the church out of the state by saying faith is really hate. Free speech can only go one way since here at school, the slant is gay. So little ones, it's time to learn about famous queers, each one in turn. Lesbian greats, long neglected, well-known gays just now detected. Some perhaps were man-boy lovers. We'll, we'll keep that stuff under the covers. Glisten, we'll fill in for granny and help kids find their inner tranny. Those born in a body that's wrong will hear of sex change before long. 
And through the years, as Johnny grows, he will learn that anything goes. With Bill, who's trans, and Joe, who's bi, and Sue, who thinks that she's a guy. United in the day of silence, joining the Gay-Straight Alliance, a queer new system rules the day. Since here at school, the slant is gay. Do you think there's a reason that suddenly a much, much larger percentage of kids are identifying as bisexual than ever before, or as gay and lesbian than ever before? You think this just happened? One of our friends sent me a note the other day, a friend of our family. She saw the, the gay men's chorus singing, and, and she said, look, when I was a little girl, the idea of girls like boys, no, 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 boys have cooties. And she said girls would hold hands, they give back rubs. It was 100% non-sexual. She said, but if she had been hearing all this stuff back then, she'd be thinking, well, maybe I'm a lesbian, maybe I'm attracted to girls. And what this ultimately means is more sexual experimentation, more checking things out, more underage relationships. It, it's just going to happen. When you celebrate Harvey Milk as a gay icon, movies celebrating his life and, you know, it's incredible. Look at what he did, pioneer, et cetera. But you also know about the rest of his life. He started getting molested by gay men when he was, what, like 11 years old, going to the opera with his family? That he's getting sexually active, you know, but as a young teenager with other men, this is the norm. When he's like 30 something, he's dating guys half his age. That, Oh, no, no, no. It's all just being fair and tolerant. It's more than that. It's introducing people to a lifestyle. It's introducing people to the idea that, hey, check it out. Maybe you're gay. Maybe you're lesbian. You start having more sexual experiences, sexual encounters when you're younger. You start hanging with people that are older, that are into different things. And this commonly happens. It's been exposed in, in, in clubs, school-sponsored clubs with, with gay elders, so to say, teachers. And others. Kids have just been indoctrinated into the whole thing. Not just, you might have same-sex attraction, but rather the whole package, everything that comes with it. This is what has happened. The whole package of just, hey, fool around with the same sex or try this out, or hey, you might be gay, why don't you find out? And then you begin to experiment, at least, well, maybe I'm bi and all of this. And, and who is it? Who is it that normally leads the way in sexually transmitted diseases? It's, it's gay teenagers. I'm not saying this to condemn them. I'm saying this is why you do not want to indoctrinate children. No, no, we're the haters. We're the bigots. And hey, you watch that video. What nice sounding music. What, 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 what a seductive word. Just, yeah, look, hey, we're just making them fair, tolerant. Yeah, and opening them up at young ages to maybe you're gay, maybe you're lesbian, maybe you're bi, maybe you're trans, which is ultimately a destructive agenda for children. We've been warning for years. We've been shouting it from the rooftops for years. There is a reason. Wake up, America. Yes, love your neighbor. Yes, love your, your kid that comes out and tells you they're gay or bi or trans. Yes, by all means, be compassionate and gracious. But do not sit by idly when your kids are being indoctrinated with a destructive agenda. It's out in the open. Parents, wake up, please. Hey, friends, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, click on one of the boxes on the screen, check out another one of our videos, and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss a single video. You know, we discovered that about 60% of you that are watching our videos aren't subscribers, so subscribe today. Doesn't cost you a dime. And if you want to support our work, Line of Fire, and all the things that we do, follow one of the links on the screen below.